a nice refreshing cup of Derek and Colton to brighten your morning. Hello, everybody. This is the uh, morning version of the uh, the Hugger Cast. We're going to be very professional today. A nice relaxing cup of Derek and Colton. <laughs> did did the uh, did the slurp come in clean? It was a very clean slurp. I was like, okay, hey, I'm trying I to. I have a cup of coffee here with me. I'm I'm really glad that worked. It was good. Like I can imagine, like if you like say like you invested in like one of those four hundred dollar mics, that slurp would be like. Oh, hey, I'm I'm good at slurping. You know what yeah. they say. That's what I was famous for in high school. <laughs> Everyone high five you, but like, ah, there's the man with the mouth, and then tell the give you a high five. <laughs> you slurping me today, and I boy, boy, you know I'm slurping today. <laughs> boy, meet me in the third stall and knock three times, and then you know you know what's coming. <laughs> and I just spit coffee on their dicks. Yep. yep. And, ah! <laughs> and yes, but uh, hello, welcome to the the new and revamped Hugger Cast. Welcome to the new and improved, pretty much the same old Hugger Cast. The only podcast that wakes up way too early in the morning. It is currently nine twenty one, and I know for some people that might not be early, but I'm a I'm a night worker, so this yeah, is very early. Derek for doesn't me. get home till like. Two in the Two morning. normally. <laughs> so I'm, I'm sorry you had to wake up so early, but this is just the only time I can record anymore. The thing, maybe I'll start uploading it. Well, I usually upload it at like 5 a.m. too, just in case the, the fans that are listening are going to work. You know? Morning commutes. Yeah, yeah, right before their morning commute. So I usually upload it around that time. But yeah, so today's a... Not not a super hard time crunch, but we're on a little bit of a. I, I, I do have work later today, so I gotta yeah. get ready at some point. But we're it will gonna be have a just a uh, bit of a shorter episode. But we'll just we'll just indulge. Yeah, it, it just to uh, to get back in the groove, a little little yeah. conversation piece. Yeah, uh, I guess we owe you somewhat of an explanation about uh, why it's been so long. We did record an episode like a month ago, but mm-hmm. then I, I got real busy with work and school, and and then I edited it. I I was gonna edit it. But we talked about a bunch of things that only were pertinent a it, month ago. Yeah. <laughs> and then just for my my side of it, married life is a, it's amazing, but it does not leave a lot of free time for stuff like this. Yeah. Uh, Colton's actually, uh, he's going through a, a defamation trial right now with his wife. She shit uh, on, not in the bed, she shit on me. Oh, yeah. And he didn't ask for it, I don't think, or did you? No. Not that time. No, not that time. Yeah. 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 <laughs> let's let's talk a little bit. I don't know if you've been paying attention to this whole Amber Heard Johnny is, Depp. My movie. wife watches it every day. I've been watching. You know, uh, Aussie Man reviews on YouTube. Yes. I, I've been watching his recaps, and I I see clips here and there. It's crazy. This is in, this is insane. No, it it is insane. Like in like, so my wife doesn't watch recaps. She watches the actual like full trial footage every day. Oh wow, that's is that that's like hours of footage though, isn't it? Mm-hmm. God dang. She's very into uh, the other day. God, what was Amber Heard was wearing like a gray suit. She looked like Doctor Evil. I remember all the memes. Yeah, I was cracking up at that. What's funny? The the funniest thing about this trial is. It makes me wonder how Amber Heard became an actor because she's terrible. She is a terrible actress. You, you can tell my favorite uh, part was uh, the other day when they were asking if she donated the money. She's like, well, I pledged the money. But did you donate the money? Well, I use pledge and donate uh, interchangeably. Well, we don't. This is court. <laughs> did you donate the money? <laughs> well, not yet. So you've had how many months and you have not donated the money? Well, I just haven't had the time. You've had months, ma'am. It's like you, oh, I haven't had the time to press send on my PayPal. I'm sorry. Did you know her uh, her her role in Aquaman got reduced to like ten minutes? Yeah, would well, good because she she does she's a piece of shit. I kind of because like I remember everyone after this whole thing got like revealed that Amber Heard was the terrible one. They were mm. like she was really bad in Aquaman, and I watched Aquaman and I wasn't paying attention to her, which either means she was bad or I need to rewatch it because I kind of want to see if she really was that bad. See, the thing is, I don't think Johnny Depp is blameless in this. I don't think he's a great person either, but he is not the monster she's making him out to no. be. He, like he's the, just your typical rich kind of... He he just had a problem with alcohol and drugs. Like, that that's 90% of Hollywood. <laughs> yeah. Like like I said, he's not, not a great dude, but not... Yeah. And not he's getting been, shit in the bed, dude. Yeah, and he's been very open with, like, his struggles. He's like, yeah, yeah you know, like... He's like, you know, I've had problems, but like the, it's weird. Like the most damning footage they have is him 
uh, like closing cabinets angrily. Mm. And like I, I was uh, hearing that that was because his mom had just died. That would make sense. Yeah. So like they they really don't have anything on him. Like in in, in legal legally speaking, she is screwed. Although this this trial did give us the beautiful soundbite of she's crying about something yelling, and you just hear uh, Johnny Depp in the back. Aquaman. Go, Aquaman. Aquaman. <laughs> Aquaman. <laughs> That's my favorite. <laughs> yeah. Or just, just the uh, monotone, just Aquaman. Aquaman. They were probably just both like absolutely drunk out of their minds. Oh, yeah. She's my dog stepped on a bee. <laughs> she's, cry- she's crying without tears, bro. Like, it's, it's, she's not a good actor. How? Like, I understand. But then, why even try to take that angle? Why even try to cry? Just look sad. Yeah, I don't think she's bright either. Yeah, I think she's stupid and a bad actor. Yeah, which is a bad combination. There's only few of those people come every few thousand years. Stupid and bad actresses. Is she the Avatar? <laughs> well, when the world needed her most, she vanished. She, she claimed abuse that didn't happen. She she pooped on the bed. Oh. Yeah, but this has just been some wild stuff. So, how was also uh, recently it was Derek's birthday? How was that? Yes, I turned a handsome young three hundred and five, and yeah, it was. You know what? I uh, uh, I went to Longhorn Steakhouse with my family, and I I had only been there once, and I didn't have a steak, but I fixed that this time and ordered a steak. Pretty damn good. That is probably one of the best steaks I've ever had. No, the long Longhorn's good. When you first told me Longhorn, I thought you meant the Longhorn Cafe, the burger place. Oh, we've been there a few times too. It's which is good, also I they have the best pretty chili good. cheeseburger in Texas, I think. I'll have to try the chili cheese next time I go. It's really good. But I got the uh, what they call the Longhorn, which is their it's like a thirty ounce steak. God damn! With a like a Parmesan cheese crust on top and some grilled oh. onions. Ooh, yeah. That sounds delicious. And their fries are seasoned so well. Uh, that's one thing. I gotta soon. You gotta come hang out because, like I said, that's there's it. A, soon I gotta come. That's just finish the sentence there. Yes, but now there's <laughs> there's a brewery not too far from where uh, I live now, and they like their beer's pretty good. I, I enjoy the drinks, but they actually have like a really good kitchen. I, they have a Ooh. burger that a uh, one is. It's an all beef patty and then a the like house ground pork bacon patty together. Oh. With the obviously they got cheese, caramelized onions, and those little uh cherry peppers. It's fucking delicious. And then their their fries, they're a weird mix of like potato skin wedges with this weird I don't know what type of seasoning they use on it, but it's they're just very, very tasty. It sounds. I'm gonna have to come down, and we'll we'll just eat some burgers. Yeah, no, and then and there's also a, right down the road a, a Philly cheesesteak place where the dude is a, a Philadelphia native that moved here. I've been looking for some good Philly cheesesteaks. Oh yeah, it's this. It's over in Universal City called Use Guys. It's. I think mm. I've seen it because like I've been googling and I'm like, oh, where's like a good? It's just called Use Guys. It's it's really really good and they have a thing called pizza fries where it's a uh, french fries with marinara and provolone uh, the, the food over here is so much better than where i used to live <laughs> you mean lavernia <laughs> the worst place in the world does like is there any lavernia classics that you that you miss i will say buffalo joe's is actually very good they're a uh, a burger place or like a sandwich place but they're they're pretty good mm. but that's about it it's the only thing the the white the whitest of Texas knows how to make a good Although sandwich. They did just open a um, a new like brick oven pizza place over there. Ooh. That everybody says is actually pretty good. Time to make your way back over to Lavernia. And then uh, of course they wait till I move out, but they're gonna open a McDonald's now, and I'm like, are you serious? I would have killed to have a McDonald's. Watch that be like the biggest deal. Like every like the lines are out, you know. Oh no, it absolutely dude, when Burger King opened, it was like a forty five minute wait for food. And that's Burger King. My god, those poor employees. It'll be about two weeks of that and then it'll ease back to a normal normal rate. 
Although I, I will say on the side of town that I live on, uh, we they finally got a Canes last year, and mm-hmm. then it was busy for like I don't know how long. See, I I like Canes. I don't think they're as special as people say, but I like them. They're not like everyone sounds like they're the best chick. Everyone says they're the best chicken. Oh, the chicken know. itself is very average. It's, it's very just bland. You know, it's the sauce. It is. It is the sauce. The thing is, I'm of the opinion that when it comes, but with barbecue and with fried chicken, your chicken needs to stand alone, and your mm-hmm. sauce is supposed to be supplementary. Not the main focal point. Exactly. But I will fuck up some cane sauce. I, you know what, what's interesting? I'll usually get like a handful of mayo, and then like I'll I'll, I'll dip my tender. Are you sure you're mayo. not secretly white? They're, that's what everyone usually asks me because, like, they're like, "Well, what kind of music do you like?" I'm like, "Oh, my favorite band is Blink One Eighty Two," and then I start naming all this like punk and like alternative rock, and they're like, "Oh, and you well, like what? mayonnaise?" And they're like, "Well, what do you like to dip your fries in?" I'm like, May- "Mayonnaise." They're like, "Well, what's your favorite show?" I'm like, "Seinfeld." <laughs> 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 are you appropriating my culture Derek? I might be they're like how do you get to work I'm like a tandem bicycle but I only drive it by myself <laughs> but yeah, oh, we, so we were talking before the podcast a little bit uh, speaking of work Derek had a very interesting customer the other day <laughs> yes I did and you know what I, uh, I salute my right arm in an upwards fashion to him uh, <laughs> I, thought, I thought they did the left arm is it the left arm? I actually I think I think they were actually left arm. Okay, I, you know what? I'll send a tweet to Richard Spencer and I'll see what he says. Um, <laughs> oh, Mr. Mr. Spence, I need you to clarify. I know, I know. Get away from me, Nick. <laughs> uh, so so I, as you, as some of you might know, I work at a movie theater and uh, I was working at the snack stand with some other people and this old white dude comes up and he's like he orders a, a small popcorn, small drink, whatever, normal stuff. And uh, he starts complaining about, you know, he's like, you know, these prices are going up, man. And I was like, yeah. And he's like, you know, back in my day, and I was like, here we go. He's like, back in my day, you know, you would buy a popcorn and drink. It'd be about like 50 cents. And I was like, yeah, I have an older dad. You know, he reminds me, he remembers me of those times too. And uh, he's like, yeah, you know, these prices are just going up. And I'm not, I'm not sure why. He's like, do you guys know why? And I'm like, oh, I don't know. He's like, he's like, who, who's in control of all this money? Who's raising the prices? And I was like, I guess the elite, right? The big rich corporations, you know? He's like, no, the Jews. <laughs> Derek had his first real anti-Semite conspiracy theorist experience. And I was like, ah, oh, uh, uh, and he was like, yeah, you know, the Jews are in control. And I was like, all right, you have a good day, sir. I didn't know what else to say. And so I, and then I went into the manager's office and I just started cracking up as soon as he left. It's, it's always the best when you get people like that. My, my favorite encounter I've had like that with a customer was, uh, this old man, I'd say probably like late 60s early 70s looks like he probably served in vietnam type dude uh comes scooting on up in his little uh motorized scooter because you know he's an old fat dude he's not walking anywhere and this was back <laughs> in Lavernia, so super entitled white man this is and, uh, he's, he, he's looking at our avocados and he goes why are they so dark and <sighs> i was like well i i don't can't really tell you sir sometimes they just come in like that and he goes where, where, where are they coming from right now? And I go, well, these, uh, I believe today these are, are from Mexico. And he goes, oh, that, that actually makes a lot of sense. They got it <laughs> a lot worse than we did. And, <laughs> you know, I'm, I'm a little curious. So I'm like, God, what a lot worse? And he just looks at me dead in the eye and goes, you know, the radiation. <laughs> <What>? <laughs> and, then, and then he just scoots away. <laughs> No context? No, he just told me that they got the radiation. <laughs> did we, is, did, did we unknowingly is, drop a bomb? <laughs> I don't know. I, wa- I want to know. This is also the same man that a few weeks later was in there. And uh, he was telling me, uh, this, this was during our last like big, I'm not going to say actual scare because it wasn't a scare, but uh, the last time North Korea was really like, we have nukes. We're going to do it. <laughs> and uh, he was coming up to me. He's like, just keep an eye out. I saw the helicopters the other day. <laughs> and I was like, what do you mean? He's like, over the horizon, I saw the North Korean helicopters <laughs> coming surveilling us. So I was like, the North, what the fuck? The North Korean helicopters. 
Yeah, just coming out in rural Texas, you know. <laughs> That's the first place. They don't go to San Antonio where all of the uh, all the military bases are. They go to Lavernia. It'd be one thing now because I live right down the road from, uh, is it Randolph? Yeah, Randolph. Oh. The, the, the base over by Universal City. I'm right down the road from it. Mm-hmm. So, uh, like, it'd be one thing if I met somebody around this area saying that it's still like, oh, that's bullshit. But at least, dude, there's like, I can see the reasoning of why they would be yeah. here. But this dude was just like, yeah, they're, they're coming out to like Stockdale. They're coming you know, down the Lavernia. pride of America. <laughs> <laughs> they're coming down where all those freedom fighters, they're making a big mistake. Yeah, it was uh people are funny though I, I i love customers one of my favorite customers was uh i won't name names of friends but i'll tell you after the podcast but uh after after i graduated i saw a friend from high school and his girlfriend and uh, i was talking to him and his girlfriend was trying to be kind of like funny and like a little like dirty and i was like so what have y'all been up to recently like what y'all been doing and she just goes oh just each other and uh, uh she didn't realize there was like a 65 year old woman <laughs> behind her and she turned around because she heard the lady kind of chuckle and she looked mortified and then the old lady in the most smoker's voice possible goes it's okay love my husband was supposed to be a one night stand 30 years ago and he never left <laughs> <laughs> And then me and that lady became friends because she's hilarious. I, I do miss seeing her at work. You gotta, gotta love the women with the smoker's voice. It's because they're always the, the chillest, just like, realest people. It's true. Like, they'll, they'll come by, they're like, all right, sweetheart, give me a, give me a, you have any Pepsi? It's like, oh, no, we're all out of Pepsi. I don't worry about a sweetheart. I'll just take a Mr. Pibb. Yeah. <laughs> it's really, yeah, they're always super nice. Like, you hear the voice and you think, oh, this, this lady's going to cause trauma. And no, they're always, like, super nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I guess as long as they've had their nicotine for the day. Yeah, no, there's an older lady, uh, she always wears a beanie, and she, she comes to the bar, and she'll, she'll, she's, she's always really happy to see me. She's like, hey, how's it going? Like, I don't think she has a smoker's voice, but she just, her voice is a little deeper. She's like, hey, how's it going? I'm like, how's it going? She's like, yeah, you know, I'll just take my usual shot. Wait, does she come to see movies, or does she go to the movie theater just to drink? Sometimes she'll uh, she'll see a movie. Sometimes she'll just drink. Hey, I respect that. We have a good amount of people that come to the theater because we got the full bar. Like, it's not just one of those like speed bars mm-hmm. where you have like margaritas and like that's it. You, know, you know, it is a full bar, fully stocked bar. So people come, they just drink. I know we're going to start getting that at HEB, surprisingly. We don't have, like, a liquor bar, but uh, the HEB I'm at now. Have you been to the True Texas Barbecue? I've not. I remember you were telling me about that. They're actually, for a chain barbecue place, they're pretty fucking good. Like, better they're tasty. Bill and they, Miller's? Oh, yes. <laughs> yeah, actually quite a bit better than Bill Miller's. <laughs> and uh, they have beer on tap at the restaurant in HEB. So people will go, especially on Tuesdays, they have $2 beer night. What? People just go drink at HEB. <laughs> They're going Which down to HEB to get messed I, up. I think most of our listeners are probably Texas-based, but if they're not, HEB is just a grocery store like a like a Kroger or a Aldi or whatever type of grocery store you have. So picture going to the grocery store to get drunk. Think like a Yeehaw Walmart. I wouldn't quite say Yeehaw Walmart because we don't got like clothes and shit. It's more just groceries. Like like a Yeehaw Target? No, Target also has clothes and everything. Yeah, that's what I was, I was trying to think of uh, more like grocery stuff. Yeah, I Kro- think Kroger's, Kroger's is pretty nationwide. The uh, Yeah, Kroger's or the... Ha- Piggly is ha- Wiggly. The pig- is Handy Andy uh, nationwide? I don't know. It might be. The- Ralph's is another one that I think Ralph's, does. Uh, yeah. I don't know why I know grocery store chains. Oh, you know what? Uh, at the quarry, there's a uh, Trader Joe's. Trader Joe's is fucking awesome. I love Trader Joe's. Ugh. Like, for the most part, I have bought into the HEB mindset. A, working there, and B, living in Texas. Everybody loves HEB, but I will fuck with Trader Joe's. You have to remind yourself, it's an, it's more of an HEB grind set. <laughs> yeah. It really is. A Sigma, male, a Sigma male grind set, if you will. My uh, my friend, uh, my friend Zach, who actually sent a question, he was telling me about uh, uh, one of our friends whose mom is on a dating site, and she screenshotted a few messages and sent it to him. 
Mm-hmm. And so she was a, uh, he like messaged her. He's like, Hey, what's up? And she's like, Hey. And he's like, they're having this little conversation, right? And he's like, yeah, you know, you should really uh, consider going out with me because, you know, there's, there's a typical male hierarchy, right? You know, you have your beta males. Oh, no. And then, and then, and then you have like your alpha males, right? But then at the very top, you have your sigma males, which is kind of where I fall into. <laughs> so basically, for, for internet nerd speak, that's the virgin, the chad, and the thad. The ultra chad. The no, no, sh- no. The- ultra chad is thad, Derek. Is you it gotta thad? Get with the time. The thads. I think we should start calling ult- uh, thads uh, shadow the hedgehogs. The, ult- the absolute peak of male masculinity. That is what peak performance looks like. <laughs> this is the male. This is the male peak performance. Accept it or die. And then that she is... just messages messages back like, "Wow, that's interesting." I I I love that there's dudes with that actual mindset. I used to have a. There's an old manager at my uh, at the movie theater that used to be like that. He's like, you know, uh, Derek, you're kind of a beta male, whereas I am. I'm more of an alpha male. He spoke like that, by the way. That was how he actually talked. That's like, how I, you know he's not an alpha male. He would try to give me like these um, these tips on becoming more of an alpha male. He's like, Derek, you gotta go to this website called The Art of Manliness. They'll teach you a few things. And I was, I remember when we first got the bar, I we had grenadine, so I was like, ooh, I want me a Shirley Temple. I was like, can I get a? He he was working the bar one day. I was mm-hmm. like, can I get a Shirley Temple? He's like, Derek. That's, you know, that's just a beta drink, you know, that's a girl's drink. What you need is a Roy Rogers. I was like, this is, it's the same thing. You just swap out the Sprite with cola. I was like, can I get the Shirley? He's like, all right, one Roy Rogers coming up. I was like, okay. You know what the best response to him would have been? Just looked him dead in the eye and been, and told him, I get more pussy than you. (laughs) And I feel like that was accurate as well. You know, I guarantee you it was. (laughs) That like I'm, had I'm sex twice in his life and he paid for it once. He he did tell me a story about uh this Russian lady who was way older than him at the time who had like touched him and then he like he immediately just splooged. Alpha mindset, bro. I got I gotta keep alpha moving. The alpha I don't grind. got time. I don't to got pleasure time. the woman. Yeah, it was really sad. He's like, Yeah, I was sixteen and she was like in her twenties, and I was like, Jesus Christ. I was like, I think you were uh statutory rape. I mean, yeah, I think you were statutory, bro. He's like, Yeah. I was like, God dang, that's very sad. That's bad that it reminds me of a shirt I want to get. Where it's oh, a, it's no. like like a <laughs> shitty it's a shitty picture of like a bass or something, and it says, "Of course I come fast. I got fish to catch." <laughs> oh my God. I love all the fishing memes that have just come out. <laughs> See, I, it speaks to my white trash self. Like, You're just like I, yeah. I, I, I unironically love fishing. <laughs> it's I've like, never it, been I, fishing. I've never. See, well, the fishing itself is okay. It's the bringing the beer and hanging out with your friends that's the fun part. That does sound pretty fun. Or like going with your dad, you know. Yeah, actually, yeah, fishing with like, I remember going fishing with my dad when I was little. And it is, it's a good time. You speaking have those, of, like, those hard to heart talks. water, because fishing takes place in water. Uh, Kaylee and I the other day had a few friends over for a little pool party. And Mojito Colton got to come out for the first time in... A very long time. Ooh, what is Mojito Colton like? Uh, he's very drunk. They all. Uh, I was egged into showing. I I I have a video of me helicoptering, like with your penis. Yeah, with my penis. It is like meat spin perfect helicopter. I'm very proud of it. But uh, the only person that's really seen it is uh Kaylee because you know that's that's my wife. She of she course, can see my course. penis. But uh, Mojito Colton and then uh. Rose Wine Kaylee were like, Does anybody want to see Colton helicoptering? And everybody was just kind of like, Actually, yeah, like, let's, let's see this. But now I have several people that have seen my penis going in a perfect circle. And I'm not one of them. And I'm kind of sad yeah, about if you, it. If you want to see it, I'll show you. Like, the, the seal has been broken. People have seen it. At, the, at this point, you have to start an OnlyFans. Like, there's no other choice. <laughs> it was funny because yeah, it was, uh, it was. Uh, some of them are my friends from HEB that uh, Kaylee's also made really good friends with. And even one of them afterward was like, uh, somebody, I think Kaylee was like, so what'd you think? She's like, you know, I don't know if I wanted to see Colton's penis, but I'm very impressed. Like, that was a perfect <laughs> helicopter. Man. 
And uh, just just as a sick little like background music, I had some corrosion to conformity playing in the background. I just I like the idea the names of Mojito Colton and Rose Wine Kaylee. Mojito Colton comes out. It's only when I swim because that is my preferred swimming drink. It's just very refreshing and delicious. Uh, it's, and, it's, uh, so it's very certain circumstances. It's like a mogwai coming out. Yeah, yeah, it, like it, that's also the one that uh, led to the beach where I puked in front of the lady, Ooh. and uh, we we were we'd been at the beach. I was drinking. We stopped at a little rest stop on the way back so my friends could use the bathroom, and I, I had to throw up, and there, I could not make it to the the restroom in time. So I puked in the bushes outside of the restroom, and a lady and her kids were walking by, and she gave me a real dirty look, <laughs> and was like, "You know, there's a bathroom right there, right?" Yo, I, I couldn't go from make puking, it. I go from puking. I look back up at her for about half a second, and then I just projectile vomit again. <laughs> <laughs> we need a. We need to add a, to the mix. We need a amaretto sour Derek. Amaretto this, sours are delicious. Amaretto sour Derek into this mix, and we'll see what happens. Absolutely, yeah. No, it'll be. We'll, we'll have. We'll get drunk by the pool. Hell yeah! You have. A, you have a guest room. Uh, I actually don't. Yeah, I'll just, we have, I'll just, oh, it's only a single bedroom. Oh, that, I'll just squeeze in with you and Kaylee. We do have a futon that pulls out, but oh. speaking of Kaylee, we could cut back in here. Uh, mm. You know what's like really popular again? What's that? Collecting Pokemon cards. Real? Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. The lo- the, the Pauls made that happen, right? Yeah. I I don't know who made that happen, but it is super in. All my friends are back into it. Like Kaylee, Kaylee, dude, the other day she got uh, two packs from Target, pulled a full art Snorlax and a like a full art Mew V or something like that. Nice. Do you know how much those cards are worth? How much are they worth? Like three hundred fifty bucks. God dang! So what what we have is we have we have football mojito husband with Rose mm. Pokemon card wife. Yes, very it's very our, weeb wife. Ma- match match made in heaven. It sounds like. It's it's entertaining. She found an anime that I've watched a I was little gonna, bit of that I, I was don't gonna hate. ask you. I was gonna like, have you found an anime yet? I, I've watched a little bit of the one called Spy Family. I haven't heard of that one. It's it's new, like it's just come out. I don't hate it though. Would I go out of my way to watch it? No, but I'll watch it with my wife. <laughs> <laughs> That's all that matters. Some quality time. After I'm I'm I have like six episodes of how I met your mother left. I'm almost done. It's nine seasons with twenty four episodes each. It's basically an anime at this point. Does but, the uh, last is the last season good? So I understand why people don't like it, and there's a few episodes that I don't like because mm. the whole last season takes place at a wedding. That seems a little excessive. It's twenty four episodes of them just at a wedding, which and See, I kind of understand like a maybe even a two three episode arc, but a no whole... twenty twenty four. That is the yeah. And the thing is, I like the episodes that involve happenings like the days before the wedding because they're at a hotel. Mm-hmm. But then there's episodes where they're like, yeah, I remember the time this happened. And then like the whole episode is a flashback. And I was like, God, come on. Uh, it's I'm not going to say lazy writing, but just uninspired writing. Yeah, I don't think because originally they were supposed to end with the last season, I think. But then they were like, they got renewed, I guess. And then they ended up finding. They're like, oh, shit. <laughs> Although, the lady who becomes the mother, I love her. Is in like, like she's hot or like she's actually funny? She's, she's really, she's attractive. She's really cute. Okay. And then like, she's also really, really silly and like quirky, but not in the annoying way. Yeah. Do you, do you know what cracks me up that we found uh, our friend Kamar is really into? What's that? Like the stereotypical New Yorker Jewish woman. Really, you know, like I, he's, there was one of those at my college, actually. Oh, you he but she was cause like she was Greek though, but she was hell hell a New York accent. We were watching like I think it started with Seinfeld. He's like, I'm I'm really into Elaine. Elaine's attractive. Though. She is, but then we were watching. Uh, have you ever seen UHF? No, I remember you were telling me to watch it. And I've never it's, seen it. It's Weird Al's movie, and it's yeah, it's it's hilarious. But uh, Fran Drescher is in it. She, Fran Jester is pretty attractive too. And the entire time, every time she was on screen, he was just like, wow. 
<laughs> Whoa. And then that, and then the last one that uh, I think completely sealed it for him is Marissa Tomei and my cousin Viz- uh, my cousin Vinny. Oh, she's attractive too. She, especially in that, like she's just always very a very pretty woman. But that that movie, she's yeah. Because in spite, I remember all the memes whenever she got announced as Aunt May. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. So that is that is what Kamar is apparently really into right now. Man, that that is a vibe for sure. That's definitely a vibe. Not not a popular vibe either. Like yeah, no, that's I was. I don't know what sparked that in him. Like, like I, just, I, I get thinking those women are attractive because they they are very attractive. But to like specifically, like I like that. You know, it's the primal urge of the black man to just tear apart any white woman <laughs> that comes across every type of white woman. Oh, you we know? better not tell the guy at the concession stand that our friend yeah. likes Jewish women. <laughs> yeah, because then he's going to be like, well, yeah, yeah. Jewish and black? Oh, no. We don't need any more Drakes coming about. We don't need any more Aubrey Grahams coming about. <laughs> for a second, I didn't realize you meant Drake the Rapper. I thought that was either some weird name for him or like a dragon. <laughs> <laughs> Drake, Drake the Dragon. I just don't think of Drake very often. Not, uh, a, not a big Drake fan. Yeah, I will. Say he's very overrated. Like people call him the best like rapper, and I'm like, he just puts out a lot of stuff. That doesn't mean he's good. Yeah, it's it's, <laughs> and it's all the same beats. Like uh, the yeah, uh, girl, uh, yeah, and then like it's uh, yeah. There's a few songs I'm like, okay, this is actually not too bad, but for the most part, I'm like, eh. it's it is what I mean. If that's what people like, that's what people like. Yeah, because I had a friend at work whose favorite rapper was Drake, and I just didn't get it. I'm trying to get Kamar right now to learn. Speaking of rap, uh, rap snitch, rap snitches, niches. I think the the MF Doom song. The oh, rap, 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 rap snitch knishes. Right? Yes, I, I learned that on guitar, so I'm trying to get Kamar to learn it on bass so we can play it together. Oh, I just love that little guitar line. Like it's so catchy. I've been getting into like random music recently, just like stuff that I'm like, yeah, let me delve like some 41. Like I've been listening to a lot of some 41 recently. I like some 41. They got some pretty good good stuff. Like, like we're all to blame that that's a banger. They, it's, they, they were like that perfect encapsulation of like nineties, late nineties, early two thousand sound. They they even incorporate like a little bit of metal. And I'm like, dang, like, Oh yeah, no, they, cause they they even straight up say like, we were raised on like Iron Maiden and Judas Priest. Yeah. Like when they're, when they do the breakdown and we're all to blame, they're like sacrifice. And then I'm like, God dang. Uh, What else? What else you found recently? You found anything? Let me see if that, let me look on my recent Spotify, see if there's anything new. Oh, I really need to listen to more. That Kendrick just dropped an album, and I, I listened yeah, to I, I heard. I don't remember the name of the song, but it's the one where it's literally just an argument. Oh, I heard that one's really good. It is interesting. I will. I will say that is one of the most unique things I've heard in years. I I was listening to Anti Diaries. That's because that was the one that got like the controversy because mm-hmm. he was saying he was saying the word f- it over and over. Hmm. Yeah, but my like man. <laughs> my homie, but there's a reason though. Like it's for a purpose. Yeah, in no. This, you... In the song, he's talking about how like we grew up in middle school and like that's all we would say, and it's true. Yeah, no, I I used to say it all the time. Yeah, like, you didn't think anything of it. Like we didn't think of it. Kind of the the Louis C K bit, like bit. Like it wasn't a slur. It was. Did you just call someone. They were just being a yeah. Yeah. You know. Yeah, you just being stop that. You know. It, it was used more as like annoying yeah like stop being annoying bro like yeah but like, that's kind of how he's talking about it and i was like this is a good song but uh you know what i'll admit What's on up? this on this podcast uh every single that harry styles has released as a solo artist mm-hmm. has been amazing I, I i respect the artistry of it it's not necessarily something i like but i i can see that like oh this is actually like got substance it's not just one direction yeah like he's he's uh, very influenced by like 80s and like new wave and stuff and i'm like Mm -hmm. this is like his new single as it was that's a it's a banger god dang surprising i did not expect to for me to be into some harry styles 
Hey, no, that's sometimes you just find stuff that resonates with you that you're it came out of nowhere. Mm-hmm. Like he did a co- cover of a uh, Peter Gabriel Sledgehammer, and I was like, mm-hmm. "This is pretty good." Oh, really? Yeah. He he's really into that time period of music. Well, that's maybe it'll get some other people into it then. Hmm. What about you? You been listening to anything good? Ah, uh, not new artists, but recently I've been super into Jerry Jeff Walker. I don't know who that is. He's an old seventies kind of like outlaw country dude. But my dad grew up like. I knew my dad basically had every CD he put out, but I'd never really listened to him because when I was young, I just wanted to listen to like 80s thrash metal and that was of course, it. Of course, of yeah. course. But as I've gotten older, like I've really grown an appreciation for the outlaw country stuff and uh, Jerry Jeff Walker is really good. <laughs> There's like, I, I the, the outlaw country that I've heard, like the Willie Nelsons and the Johnny Cash, mm-hmm. some good stuff. Like I, I prefer it more to what we get now. Oh, absolutely, because it's like there's there's stories being told. Mm-hmm. I, I have a theory that modern country is ashamed of being country music because they're always pulling from some, some other genre. It's, like, it's, they're it's either pulling from for white dudes who hate black people. Yeah, they're either pulling from hip-hop, like Florida Georgia Line, or they're pulling from pop, like a lot of the uh, the country ladies of the time. Mm-hmm. Or they're pull they're pulled from rock. Like they'll try to be like a rock country song. It's there's very few artists now that are actual like feel like country music. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, <laughs> you know what? I've been listening to a little bit of the. Uh, you remember, did you watch? Uh, oh, did you watch Tick Tick Boom last year? No. With Andrew Garfield. I have. I I don't think I actually even heard of that. So it's a uh, you know the the musical Rent. Yes. So it's about the guy who made Rent, and it's a musical itself. It's just about his life, and it's a good soundtrack. Okay. I mean, sometimes musicals hit the spot. Yeah. Hold on. You're sounding really scrambly again. Oh, um... Okay, so for the audience, there were some technical difficulties for a minute, but I think we're, we're better now. We're back where we were, kind of, yes. Do you want to get started on questions yeah, now that it's getting closer those... to 1030? Let's send in those questions. Although, real quick, though. Yes. Did you... Have you watched Batman? The The new one? Yes. Mm. That is think? one of the few movies I've watched. What do you think? I really... I, I like that they made him a detective again. Mm. I loved it. Like, it was... I, I really liked it. It was one of my favorite movies of the year so far. I uh, I, I liked the idea behind the, the way they portrayed the Riddler this time. They made him a little too little too incelly for me, <laughs> but I like that they took it in a different direction. Yeah, he's basically like a uh, an influencer. He's a four chan killer. He's a four chaner. I mean, that's exactly like especially at the uh, toward the end of the movie when it shows the website, like it's basically mocking like four chan and Reddit. Yeah, all the comments are like, "We gotta bring some shotguns and vests." The only difference is these people actually left their houses. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. There was that uh the the shooting the other day. That was a four chan guy. The the uh the the one where it was a supermarket he, one. Yeah, where was he, he live Forge? streamed it. That oh yeah. It started on four chan. That's that that's dude, that stuff was crazy. That was man. That's a bad place. That's what always cracks me up though. That like a how QAnon got so big, even though it started on 4chan. And I've tried explaining to people that I know that are into QAnon what 4chan is. And they're like, well, it, it it's different than the rest of it. I was like, no, 4chan is a terrible place. Like, no, do, do not. The only funny thing is sometimes you'll screenshot a green text. Yeah, it's, it's like, it's not all bad, but there's some fucked up stuff. Oh yeah. Like it's like Reddit bans people. I don't think 4chan does. Oh Especially, I think they've cracked down a little bit on some of the stuff, but back in like 2014, going on 4chan, especially like the random board. Oh yeah, no, there was a there was the boards of like just we hate brown people. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and, and that, or like there'd be all kinds of necrophilia stuff. Like it was just bad. Not a fun time. All right, well, I guess we'll uh, we'll switch over to questions. We're about to enter the part of the podcast where. You can submit questions for us to answer at the end of the podcast. Usually I put out a call for questions right before the filming of the episode, but if you want to just send one for me to keep on stockpile, just shoot me a message at uh, Hugger Derek on Instagram or Twitter. 
That way Derek can hoard them. I'll hoard them like I do uh, all of my cummies. <laughs> 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 Uh, and then, if you know Colton in real life, you can always just stalk him. You'll have to do a little bit of detective work. You'll actually have to find Colton. So, good luck with that. Uh, our first question, or we've got a few of them, from at Steph from Texas on Instagram. <clears throat> she writes in, how did you feel about the past semester? She she was in a, one of my classes, my uh, my podcast, my podcasting class. Yeah. Uh, Colton, how did you feel about the past semester? That guy was an asshole. <laughs> he, he sucks wiener in not a fun way, but in a bad way. I heard he's probably... A oh, no. Oh, we got we to gotta calm down. We got to... We got to... We got <laughs> <laughs> we have, we allegedly. Have, allegedly. We'll add allegedly. We, we, have, we have to calm down. <laughs> uh, so, this past semester, I took four classes... Uh, I took PR, public relations, with this uh, a doctor. Not she. She has a doctorate in PR. She was really cool. Mm -hmm. Kind of. Uh, she gives off like crazy. She's a punt returner. Yeah, yeah. She uh, <laughs> she was part of the Eagles or something football. <laughs> <laughs> she was part of the Eagles or something. But yeah, she uh, she gives she gave off like. Funny Thea, Mexican Thea vibes. That sounds entertaining. She was really cool. She was funny and stuff. Uh, I had reporting with a, a professor. She was like this small, old white lady, and she was like real quirky and weird, and I loved her. She was like... That also sounds nice. Yeah, she was like five foot one, and then she let me turn in all my stuff at the end because I had like three late assignments. Hey, Dad said that for the win, then. She's a cool lady. She yeah, gets the pass. She was awesome. She gets the N-word pass? No, not the inward oh, pass. I'll let her, I'll, uh, Professor Pazdera. Um, <laughs> what else did I... I had... Oh, I had an online class <clears throat> with a... Uh, it was called Jag Tracks, um, but it was basically a senior class all the seniors had to take in order to learn how to build a resume in an online portfolio. Okay. Pretty, that's actually, that sounds pretty helpful. Pretty easy, yeah. And I, I made a LinkedIn and stuff. I was like, okay. Uh, it, that, it was easy. She was really cool because like, uh, she was like, yeah, I grades are due at the 11th. Uh, if you're missing things, just turn them in and I'll grade them. I was missing something that took off 20 points of my final project. And she was like, she just put a note and I was like, oh, here, uh, here's the thing I was missing. She's like, okay, thank you. Hey, that, that works. That, that, that sounds like a pretty understandable, like understanding professor. Yeah. She's super chill. And then. I had another unnameless prof uh, nameless professor uh, that after podcasting that made the entire thing very difficult. Uh, allegedly. Allegedly. Allegedly made things <laughs> difficult. He allegedly uh, counted was going to count me as tardy for being one minute late. He allegedly taught us r false copyright rules when it comes to fair use. Didn't mention fair use at all. Just told us if we use anything that's copyrighted, we're going to get sued for thousands of dollars by a big company. So he's he said fair uses for commies, he's allegedly. Like, he's like fair use, more like fairly use, unuseful. He, he said the 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 f word slur. Yeah, allegedly. Use oh, allegedly. <laughs> I just imagined he can say that. Fair <laughs> and a fair use, more like nick. Oh no! Just <laughs> no, no. I, I was thinking. Oh, I guess that's that's the word you can say because we're yeah, not gay. Yeah, that's why. But the. Uh, <laughs> Like, he doesn't even say, like, a pun. He just says the N-word. <laughs> Fair use is for blankets. For blankets. What, what is... Say, you, have to, you can say a white slur. Fair use is for crackers. Although, apparently, you'll get banned on Twitch for saying uh, crackers, so... What if I'm eating some nice saltines? Oh. Ban. But, uh... <laughs> yeah, and then, like, he was just a very, very rough professor. Graded discussion boards very harshly. Uh, I got into a fight with him the last day. Not a physical allegedly. one. Allegedly. Not a physical one, but it's because I turned in my final project, and then, like, the day of, or, like, the day, the night before, I sent him an email, because he had all these, like, these rules and everything, so I sent him an email, I was like, hey, professor, uh, just, you know, I know you don't take late work, so I just want to send a confirmation email, just make sure everything's turned in correctly, can you just look over it real quick? A basic request, I feel like. 
that is a very reasonable thing. Yeah. And so he sends back an email saying, well, Derek, if you looked at the instructions correctly, then you should be fine. And I was like, that's not what I asked. And then the, I, I, the, you get the vibe of him, right? Yeah. Just, just a douche. Yeah. And so, uh, the next day I come, we come to class, he pulls up everybody's podcast script and was like, you know, everyone's, it seems like everyone's having trouble reading instructions. I've never had this problem before with other classes, but you know, you know, blah, blah, blah. and he goes on this thing. And then like, he's like, Derek, you need to read the instructions again. I was like, what's wrong? And he's like, just read the instructions. I, I was like, well, can you tell me what's wrong so I can fix it? He's like, no, well, you just need to read the instructions. And I, then I read and I was like, is it this? Do you need me to move this here? Because if so, you could just tell me to do it and I'll do it. Mm-hmm. And he was like, well, you need to just read the instructions. And I got really pissed. I was like, I was like, bro, I'm asking you a simple question. I was like, it you? is the simplest of questions. I was like, can you just tell me what needs to be done so I can fix it? Like, please. And then he gets all high and mighty. He goes up to the front and was like, you know, some students feel like they have the right to disrespect me. And I was like, no one's disrespecting you. I just asked you a question. Uh, I didn't call you the F word slur that exactly, you say all the time. That you allegedly, allegedly, allegedly say all the time. Uh, and then, uh, yeah, and then he he brings he's Venezuelan, so he has an accent, and so he brings up he's like you know maybe some people think they can disrespect me because of my accent, and I was like what Alleg- allegedly you know allegedly I heard he says it's because of the Jews that run the <laughs> school allegedly <laughs> allegedly, and I was like bro why are you bringing it up like racism and right now like I I people I I'm only allegedly racist I'm only allegedly racist like not fully racist more more so like. <laughs> Like a Karen, less 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 Mel Gibson. Have you seen the video of the Karen who says the N word in the drive through line? No. And then it's just like, I'm sorry, I'm just really hungry. <laughs> I feel that. I've I've wanted to say the N word because I'm hungry too. You know, I get that. I get that. She's invited to the cookout. <laughs> yeah. So anyway, that's how my semester. And then there was work too, so it was just very. very I'm almost done though. I have three summer classes and then four fall classes. Then I get my bachelor's. Yay! And I was thinking about going for my master's, but I don't know. That's a, that's a lot of money. Yeah, I know. Uh, she also asked, "What plans do you have for the rest of the year?" Well, eh, three class, three three summer classes, four fall classes. Continue working. That's it. That's uh. I'm trying to think if I have any plans. I'm going to Vegas again in August. Ooh! How, I know you had a lot of fun the first time. Oh, it is, it is the wildest place in the world. It's so much fun. It's one of those places that, like, I would go out of my room at, like, three thirty, four in the morning just because I couldn't sleep or something, and it, nobody was, it, everything's still just going on completely normal. City that never sleeps. Like, time does not exist in Vegas. Wow. Did you go to Chef Ramsay's uh, restaurant? I, I heard it's pretty good. did not. My little sister did when she went on her honeymoon. She said it was really good. Man, honeymoon. They grow up so fast. It's real it's weird. It does feel weird saying it, right? Yeah. Like, yeah, my little sister's honeymoon. Yeah, the fact the fact that my sister and I are both married now, it's like, oh we're adults. We're 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 functioning adult people. I'm I'm r r slash adulting. <laughs> uh and she also last question she asks, um, what do you think about the new Marvel movie? I, I'm assuming she's talking about Doctor Strange and not Morbius. I have not seen Doctor Strange yet, but I want to. It's a very Sam Raimi movie, so if you like, I like his Sam style, Raimi. Yeah, if you like his style, you'll like the movie. I enjoyed it. I had a lot of fun. Uh, it was a little messy at points, but yeah, overall, it was a good one. I liked it. Oh, that's, that is a. I, I trust Derek's review on movies like this, so that 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 gives me gives me good hope. That being said, it has nothing on the masterpiece that is Morbius. Can we take a few minutes to appreciate just how Morbius... I like to congratulate it for being the first film. <laughs> the first... I, I didn't, That's it. I didn't even watch it. I've heard, I heard it was just atrocious. The greatest movie of all time, yes. And My, uh, my favorite thing is that tweet of the guy who's like, I'm seeing Morbius, I'm so fucking excited. And then it's like, <laughs> the, it's like his timeline and two hours later, it's just like, I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> <laughs> I've seen all the like the tweets about like yeah you know my favorite part is where Morbius uh, he says it's Morbin it's time, time. <laughs> and then he morbed all over those guys. 
So at work, I've just been saying that over and over. Like, it's Morbin time. It's Morbin time. I was like, he just beats the bad guys. And he's like, you just got morbed. The thing is, if the movie was silly and stupid like that, it would have been fun. But it it tr- it took itself seriously, right? It took itself way too seriously. I was like, bro. I was like, you're Jared Leto. You're emo Jared Leto. This should be fun. This should be funny. And it was terrible. Like if I if I made the movie, I would have like after he got the vampire powers, I would have had a scene where he goes into the bar and like he's like, oh, what? Like I bartender's like, what do you have? And he's like, uh, he like stammers and he's like. Uh, Bloody Mary, like, and then it just cuts to like the next scene. Mm. Like, just just make it stupid, like Venom. Yeah, because Venom wasn't good, but it was at the, least yeah. entertaining. They're not good movies, but they're fun. Like, mm. they at least know what they are. They especially, have a spirit to them. Especially Let There Be Carnage, because Let There Be Carnage is stupid. But sometimes that's what you want. You just want a b- movie to turn your brain off to and eat popcorn. Yeah, yeah and like Morbius could have been that, but like. They were like, I'm, I'm Michael Morbius. I'm here to take my shirt off and be sexy. We have another question. Uh, let's see. Da, 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 da. At Zach.Shazam. <clears throat> he usually asks the fun questions. He, yep. uh, on Instagram, he writes in, What do you think the reason was behind the decision to change Larry the Cucumber into a corn cob in the Muslim version of VeggieTales? See, if I had my way, I would have replaced Larry the Cucumber. I would have just green screened in Larry David as Larry David. As as Larry the David. Yeah, as Larry the David and just had him <laughs> say David. all the Larry the Cucumber lines. Oh, what? God? Huh? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> he just does that the whole time. <laughs> Calls everybody <laughs> schmucks. It's just incredibly uh, Jewish uh, the whole you're time. You're all a bunch of schmucks, all of you. <laughs> I feel if there is a Muslim version of uh, Veggie Tales, they would they would have all the teachings of the Quran and then just just like sneak in some anti semitism just every oh, day. They, they absolutely would. <laughs> <laughs> they just like, they run into a, like a latka. They run into a lot, a living latka, and they and just like massacre it. <laughs> <laughs> I, I mean, that's not very subtle, but sure, yeah. <laughs> I was, I was, they would like walk past him and be like, well, that, that fellow was kind of weird, huh? The but Middle like, East, the, the Middle East isn't good at subtlety. <laughs> like the Letka has like a, a yarmulke and those little strands of hair. Oy like, vey! Ah, Oy vey, what are you guys doing? And then the, the veggie tails are like, ah, oh, that guy's. <laughs> you know, like, yeah, that guy's kind of weird, huh? And then he just, they just walk by him and like, <laughs> it'll instill in the children's brain, not, not to be hateful, but to be very wary. <laughs> very cautious around very him. Very cautious. But I think a corn cob is a. Uh, I actually I've, I've read the Quran recently, and uh, corn comes up a lot. So interesting. I did not know that. It's a, that's entirely false. What I just said, but fair enough. <laughs> I was just thinking like Pocahontas. Oh yeah, speak. Yeah, that's another uh, a story that was very accurate to the actual real thing that happened. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Us white people were totally not at fault. It was John Smith. It was, was just, just a misunderstanding. Nice, it was. It was like it was like a like an episode of Three's Company. A classic misunderstanding. <laughs> <laughs> Mister Furley comes in. He's like, "Oh, what are you Indians doing there?" Oh. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I think it was a brave and uh, respectful choice. But I think. Uh, the the living Letka was a more, is it Letka or Latka? I think it's Latka. Okay, I've been saying Letka this whole time. Uh, Latka, sorry, Jewish people. It's okay. They can take a joke. Oh, that that that, uh, that old white man seemed to think so. <laughs> Although I don't know if he was, I don't think he was joking. I think he was. Yeah, no, I think serious. he was deadly serious. <laughs> he was dead serious. Uh, let's see. Last question at Chunky dot Avocado one. On Instagram writes in, if you could be a part of any movie, like living in it, what would it be? Which one would it be? Oh, so like a good live question. in a movie universe. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Porn counts as movies, so. Fair enough. I'll take Naughty Slumber Party 5. I want to be in Lemon Stealing Whores. Oh, <laughs> those Lemon Stealing Whores. <laughs> I love that. I love that video. <laughs> Hey, hasn't it been exactly 15 seconds since we looked at our lemon tree? Yeah. 
It has it. Hey, it's a whore stealing our lemons. <laughs> love that, or that I love, I can't say it, but the inward lamp. I don't know if you've seen that one. The what? <laughs> inward lamp. The no, the, the nail lamp. Yes. Is that a is that a you porn? You need to go watch it. It is this like girl with her mom and uh, the mom's like leaving, so she sneaks in her black boyfriend, and the mom comes <laughs> back and he keeps hiding it in more ridiculous ways. <laughs> it is the funniest fucking video. That is that is pretty great, actually. I need to look that up. You you do it is it's funny. That's amazing. Uh but like I guess. I guess I'd want to live in some sort of Marvel universe because it would allow me the possibility to get powers. I want to live in the Cars world. Oh, so you could just be Colt in the car. Yeah. Yeah, that sounds you know, pretty th- great. That uh, that universe, uh, it, uh, it posits way more questions than it answers. <laughs> it really does. <laughs> How does like, it work? World War II happened. Like, the kamikazes were just actual planes exactly and would that mean a world war ii implies the existence of car hitler i assume he was a volkswagen the volkswagen but no for, i actually i don't know what movie universe i'd want to live in uh you know hmm. S- star wars would be fun star wars would be really fun depending on where you landed I yeah guess. where where you landed if you have a choice of where you go i'd pick star wars if not i would pick um Let's say the big Lebowski. I just want to be around him all the time. I want to be you around the dude. Just, you, just, you just want to be next to him. Yeah. I would pick. I would pick the Katy Perry movie 3D Experience, so I could be yeah. next to Katy Perry. Um. <laughs> you know what I realized? the The first Katy Perry album, Teenage Dream, got mm-hmm. some bangers. Got some bangers. It really kind of does. Like for it just got, straight up pop music. Not bad. Not bad at all. Stood the test of time. Not her first album, though. Oh, it's right. She was a Christian artist before. Which cracks me up. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Cause she, and then right after she released I Kissed a Girl. Mm-hmm. She's like, well, this Jesus stuff ain't selling. What can I do? Lesbians. Ooh. Ooh. Lesbians are hot right now. Literally, <laughs> metaphorically, and literally. Yeah. Uh, well, you know what? Maybe maybe I'd pick the Batman because I could have listen to Nirvana every every five minutes. Oh, man, no way. No way. That yeah. song is so that song is so good. It really is. Like th- I've I've found that every other Nirvana song that's big I've listened to I like way more than uh, uh, Smells Like Teen Spirit. Teen Spirit. Yeah. No. They they have a, actually I like their first album a lot. It doesn't have many hits, but it's a it's a lot rougher sounding like it, it definitely more grunge grunge mm. it's got some good stuff on it though i do like their cover of uh the man who sold the world from their unplugged super good yeah they, their unplugged album in general had some good like uh some good covers right mm-hmm. it had some they had some good ones though but i guess that's a uh, about yeah. time for me to to be getting off to so go, i could start go. getting ready for work all right. Well, definitive answer uh, for me: more somewhere in the Marvel universe, so I can get powers. And then you, you I'm gonna still say the big car. Lebowski. I was like, you still want to be a car? <laughs> <laughs> you know, I want to be in the Ratatouille universe. But, uh, that actually could, would be kind of cool. Could be a rat that that cooks and eats food. I could see it. And just come up like, hey guys, it's me. I'm the rat. <laughs> Is that your rat <laughs> voice? <laughs> I'm just this like chubby brown rat. Hello. I'm picturing I'm you as like I'm Rat Man. Is I'm rat? No, we don't sing that anymore. We go something in the way. I want to see. I gotta send you a video I saw where it's they take the trailer for the Batman, but uh, they After Effects uh Adam West into it. That's amazing. It's Please fucking send hilarious. Me that. <laughs> Alrighty. Well, thank you for listening, guys. Sorry, it's, it's been, been shorter. real. It's been fun, but has it been real fun? That's for you to decide. <laughs> I don't like that you just said that, but <laughs> you're welcome. <laughs> it's been fun. It's been real, but has has it has it been real, or am I just imagining things? <laughs> Are the voices in my head speaking to me? The it's schizophrenia, the schizophrenia typically hits in your mid twenties. Did I run out of money? Did uh, to, to buy meds? Maybe is Colton here? Probably not.
Something in, in the way. my have something in my ass. Have you heard that? that one? Yes. <laughs> my, oh, real quick, have you watched Moon Knight? I know you don't watch a lot of Marvel stuff. I have not. You should. But it's Disney Plus, right? Yeah, it's actually not bad. If I ever get he, Disney Plus, I'll watch it. You said schizophrenia, and like that made me think of uh, DID, which also makes me think of Moon Knight. So fair enough. Yeah. Alrighty, well, thanks for listening, guys. It's been gay, it's been straight, but has it been gaily straight? Uh, no, maybe, yes, prob- who maybe knows? Somewhere in the middle. Colton's married to a woman, which is pretty gay. A little bit. Uh, a little bit. You know, you should. we should really be kissing dudes, because dudes kiss girls. And, and that's so, straight. Like, that's pretty straight, to kiss someone who kisses girls. But if you're kissing girls, you're kissing kiss someone boys. who kisses... Yeah, and that's pretty gay. So... Thanks for listening, well, guys. What about what about if <laughs> the girl kisses girls? Oh, we call that a good time. <laughs> uh, we call that a show, don't we, Colton? <laughs> right up, up top, <laughs> clap. <laughs> well, I'll, I'll add a clap sound effect in there. Uh, <laughs> Thanks for listening, though, guys. Uh, it's it's a little bit of a shorter episode. Yeah. We might honestly, they're a little easier to edit. We might do shorter episodes. Yeah, honestly, sure. it, it, this time frame works the best for me because mm-hmm. it's harder to record when Kaylee's here because I don't want to disturb her. It's because so, the, sa- the sound of Colton's smooth, smooth voice turns her on too much. And we're trying to record, and she's just trying to have crazy gorilla sex with him. The entire time, while yeah. we're, And I'm like, I have to edit that out. Like, I have to edit out <laughs> all the moans. And I'm just like, oh, this is this is this is terrible. But yeah, and it's it it's easier to to record, easier to to edit. Yeah, that's actually the reason we had to stop earlier is because all the cum that was just <laughs> stitched Slathered on everywhere on, on his microphone started to cause it to sound really funky. It shorted out. <laughs> He's got to lick it off. Just anyway. Uh, but, but yeah, yeah, thanks. With, with thanks. that, you should you should end it on you going. Um, num, num, num. Um, um, uh, well, I have, I have to do the rest of the. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. You 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 finish it real quick. Thanks for watching and uh, follow us on Instagram. Well, follow us on it. Well, you can follow me on Instagram at Hugger Derek or on Twitter at Hugger Derek. Uh, make sure to subscribe to the podcast or the Hugger Derek channel on YouTube. You can get podcasts and regular videos, which I will start making again soon. Uh, so I got to do my best and worst of 2021 list. Mm-hmm. Uh, and then uh, you could listen to the podcast, Spotify, Apple Podcasts. Uh, leave a review on Apple Podcasts because I hear that actually helps. Helps, the algor- helps the algorithm a lot. Give us that five star, whatever it is, Apple. Five apples out of five apples. <laughs> whatever the Apple Podcast uses. Five Steve Job coffins. <laughs> I'd like to get five uh, uh, internment camp children out of five. <laughs> I give that five Hal Hitlers out of five. Anyway. Jesus Christ. But, uh, <laughs> uh, but yeah, and so uh, thanks for listening. If you want to leave questions, send them to me at Hugger Derek on Twitter, Instagram. And thanks for listening. We'll see you in the next episode. We love you. We will kiss you. We, we wouldn't want to miss you. And then if we see you in real life, we won't diss you. Word.